All right, today is Monday, April 4th, 2022, and it's time to uh, review the portfolio uh, through March 31st. So how did I do in March? Well, at the beginning, it was uh, pretty volatile and kind of crazy, but uh, closing out the month, uh, my portfolio did great, it recovered, and I think the broader market did as well. So let's jump right into the performance and see how we're doing. Uh, year to date, I'm down 1.74%. This is compared to the S&P 500, which is down 4.94%. Uh, if you were looking at the NASDAQ index for the growth stocks, it was down even more, probably uh, around 9% for the year through March. Uh, during the last week of March and uh, even, uh, even today, the market is rallying. So uh, we'll see how, how that all goes. In terms of uh, sector allocation, uh, it's roughly the same, 42% in cash, uh, the rest spread out into uh, technology, REITs, financials, no other big moves for the month. And uh, what I'll do over the next uh, 12 to 18 months is continue to allocate whatever cash I have into that risk uh, parity inspire portfolio allocation and uh, we'll call it a day. Um, I'm happy to see that the market's rallying, but uh, honestly, I don't really understand why it's doing that because the the Russian Ukraine war is uh, still ongoing. Although you know there are some encouraging signs, but it's still ongoing. Inflation remains stubbornly high uh, to the point that you know there are talks that the Fed will have to raise rates over the next six sessions by fifty basis points. I think uh, currently the market is priced in a twenty five basis point increase uh, for the remainder of the year but i'm hearing wind that it could be as high as 50 and you know honestly i don't know uh, how that's going to work out uh, the first raise of the year in the last meeting of 25 basis points was priced in and it went off without setting off a, a lot of alarms and in fact because the fed raised uh, the rates what they said they were i think that helped to uh, alleviate some some fears in the market in any case, I am very concerned going uh, forward still, even though, you know, this last week has been great. Um, the biggest concern for me is what's going to happen in terms of these interest rate hikes and how it's going to affect the overall economy. So I know that the Fed is uh, being a lot more more hawkish and uh, Powell himself has said that he's going to, you know, raise rates if uh, you know, raise rates a lot if inflation continues to be high, which it seems to be. And uh, my main concern is I just don't know what that's going to do to the market. But I have a lot of dry powder, so I'm just going to stick with my plan and uh, we'll, we'll go with it. But uh, somehow I just think that by September, things are going to be a little bit crazy. Um, I hope not. I hope I'm completely wrong there. You never want to procrastinate. Yeah, can't say it. Prognosticate. But uh, yeah, I don't know what's going to happen. Anyways, that's the update uh, for the portfolio and uh, just some random thoughts on uh, the market through March 31st, 2022. Thanks for checking in with me and I hope to see you again soon. Later. Bye.